Welcome to publicaddressannouncing.com's football video presentation. I'm Dr. J.T. Elliott, and in the videos to follow, I'll prepare you to take the microphone. Now, let's begin. Here are some of my tips and tricks that I use to be an effective public address announcer. Organize all your templates and your writings in a binder. In that binder, have clear protectors in case you have any spills. You always want to have a few ink pens lying around to make notes or for other people to write notes down. Also have highlighters. You want to get rosters, numerical rosters if possible, from coaches or staff and highlight those that will be touching the ball most. You want to have different colors, so if you have a team in blue, use the blue. If you have a team in red, use the pink. Pastels usually show up easier when you're working with highlighters. As an announcer, you're not always guaranteed to have a spotter, so it's good to have a set of binoculars with you so you can follow the gameplay. When using the microphone, have the mic follow your mouth so your mouth and the microphone are always in line with each other. Do not have the microphone down here if you're talking forward. If you have the microphone up, and you're down looking at, at your script, have your microphone follow your mouth. I warm up my voice by simply reciting alphabetical letter sounds. So A, A, B, B, C, K, D, D, and etc. until you've gone through the entire alphabet. So you've prepared your voice and you have your supplies ready for the game. The National Anthem is one of the most important announcements that you will make. The crowd will be very quiet to silent at that time, so all ears will be listening to you. You need to coordinate with your color guard, whether that's a Boy Scout troop, American Legion, or a JROTC. When you begin your script is when they need to begin their march to present the colors. Now, you do not want to play the National Anthem or have someone sing the National Anthem until the state flag has been lowered below the national flag because no flag flies higher than the American flag. Here are a few examples. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats as we honor the United States of America this evening with the singing of our National Anthem. Tonight's Star Spangled Banner is being performed by the West High School Chamber Choir. They are led under the direction of Choir Director Miss Jane Doe. This evening's presentation of colors is brought to you by the West High School JROTC. Please remain standing until the color guard has exited the field. Now you may not have someone singing, so if you're just playing an audio file, your presentation becomes much shorter. Here's an example. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats as we honor the United States of America this evening with the playing of our national anthem. This evening's presentation of colors is brought to you by the West High School JROTC. Please remain standing until the color guard has exited the field. Some schools still open their athletic contests with prayers. If your school or organization is one of those, Here's an example to help you. Before we begin tonight's festivities, let us open in a word of prayer. We welcome Pastor John Doe of First Baptist Church, who will be leading the opening prayer. Please bow your heads. Your pregame announcement, I typically do as the captains are coming onto the field for the coin toss. This is a time when the crowd is getting more excited as they anticipate the matchup. Here's an example. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Patriot Stadium in Elliott Field, located on the campus of West High School, for tonight's football matchup, featuring the visiting East High School Tigers and your West High School Patriots. One way to monetize your football program and utilize your announcer is through the presentation of a game ball. This is also a good way to improve community relations and support within your school. Here are a couple of examples. 
Football fans, please direct your attention to the 50-yard line at this time. This evening's Thomas & Associates Law Office Game Ball is being presented by Law Enforcement Officer John Doe. These first responders sacrifice their homes to save our lives. They risk their lives to save others. We ask that if you are a first responder, please stand and be recognized. Now going off script, we want to pause to allow those to stand and be recognized. Ladies and gentlemen, let us honor these first responders for their service this evening with a round of applause. Off script again, you don't want to talk over the crowd as they are clapping and honoring those that are standing. That's your Thomas & Associates Law Office Game Ball presentation. For all your legal needs, please visit the Thomas & Associates Law Office located on Main Street. Your official Game Ball sponsor for West High School Football. Once again, the Game Ball presentation is a great way to get sponsors to support your program. Here's another example of the Game Ball presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the 50-yard line at this time. This evening's local pharmacy, Game Ball, is being presented by registered nurse Jane Doe. Mrs. Doe serves as a RN at Hometown Hospital. Nurses bring hope to their patients during stressful times. They not only care for the wellness of others, but through their performance, inspire us all to rise above challenges. We ask that if you are a nurse or work in the medical field, please stand at this time. Once again, pause and let these individuals stand up to be recognized. Please put your hands together in support of our nurses and medical care professionals. Once again, we want to pause and allow the crowd to honor those through a round of applause. That's your local pharmacy game ball presentation. For all your prescription needs, please visit Local Pharmacy, located on Elliott Drive, your official game ball sponsor for West High School football. Your spirit line announcement is usually during a time where a lot of conversation is going on through the crowd. People are arriving, they're at the concession stand, and they're socializing with each other. So you want to make the announcement twice. So there's a, about a three second pause in between your first announcement and your second announcement because you will have some people and fans that are gonna say, what did the announcer just say? So that's why you want to repeat this at that time. Here are some examples for the Spirit Line announcement. Attention all Patriot fans, alumni and students, your presence is requested for the Spirit Line. The Spirit Line is now being formed at the North End Zone. This is where you pause and do your second announcement. Now it's a little bit different from the first one. Once again, all West High School students, alumni, and football fans, welcome the Patriots onto the field by being a part of the Spirit Line. Make your way to the North End Zone to be a part of the Spirit Line now. Now here is a second example for the Spirit Line announcement. Patriot fans, it's time to welcome the boys in blue and white onto the field. Now is your chance to be a part of the Spirit Line. The Spirit Line is now forming at the North End Zone. Once again, here is our three second pause before we do our second announcement. Once again, Patriot fans, it's time to show your West High School pride. Make your way to the North End Zone to be a part of the Spirit Line. Now let's get into some gameplay. I'm going to walk you through different scenarios and then break them down for you. Kicking off for the Tigers, number 40, John Doe. Back deep to receive for the Patriots, number 3, Micah Thomas. Now one interesting story. My very first game announcing, I made this mistake. I just said the player numbers and not the name. We always want to say the name and the number. Numbers and jersey numbers can change game to game sometimes. So you want that numerical roster beforehand so you know the player number and name for that game. Carry by number three, Micah Thomas, tackle by number 72, John Doe. Game three, ball spotted on the 45 yard line. Play results in an Elliott Auto Sales Patriots first down. Your first down scenarios are another great way for your football program to utilize your announcer to generate revenue and monetize your program. You'll notice I put a sponsor before I said Patriots first down. 
It's simple and quick to get that sponsorship and to throw their name in there. Pass by number three, Micah Thomas. Complete to number 88, John Doe. Gain a five on the play. Ball spawning at the 50-yard line. Third and four for the Patriots. You'll notice in that scenario, I stated a lot of facts. You never want to guess or estimate. Work with your clock operators and those in the press box that have that information and only report what you know is fact. Pass by number three, Micah Thomas, intended for number 88, John Doe, is incomplete. Second and 10 for the Patriots from the 33-yard line. Now remember, you're a public address announcer, not a radio announcer. So again, only state what you know. So if you're not sure that the pass was intended for this receiver, don't say that. Just say that it was an incomplete pass. Only state what you know. Carried by number three, Micah Thomas. No gain on the play. Play results in a turnover on downs. First and 10 Tigers on the 18-yard line. Now remember, not every play is going to be in your favor. But again, we want to state the information that is true, whether it benefits our home team or not. Pass by number three, Micah Thomas is intercepted by number 22, John Doe. Ball spotted at the 20-yard line, first and 10 Tigers. Even if something bad happens, as an announcer, you still have to report it, whether that is for your team or for the opposing team. Carry by number three, Micah Thomas. Fumble on the play. Fumble recovered by the Tigers. Change of possession. First and 10, East High School from the 10-yard line. Now, you definitely want to say on a fumble, if the ball is lost and there's a turnover, that there is a change of possession. Many times during fumbles, there's the question of who recovered the ball. So saying that change of possession means the ball has transferred ownership to the other team. Now, there are so many rules and penalties in football that there's no way that I could cover them all. But whatever the penalty or flag is, remember, just report the facts and what you know. Don't assume this is a 15-yard penalty until it's been marked off. Don't assume that it's a holding call until the official has made that call. Only report, whether it's for your team or the opposing team, what you know is fact. Touchdowns are an exciting time, and a lot can be going on after your team scores. There could be fireworks. Cheerleaders are doing their cheer. The band is playing. So you'll notice a few pauses in here. Also, touchdowns are another great way to monetize your program. Here's an example. Touchdown Patriots! Touchdown scored by number 45, John Doe. Remember to pause after the touchdown so you can allow the crowd to react, the cheerleaders to cheer, the band to play, and so forth. Also, remember to give credit to whoever scored that touchdown. There's nothing more special to a family than hearing their child's name over the sound system. Extra point attempt by number 11, John Doe is successful with 729 left in the third quarter. The score is the visiting East High School Tigers 21 and your West High School Patriots 28. Again, we want to have a pause to let the crowd reflect and express their selves. Once the crowd has died down and the band has stopped playing and the cheerleaders have ended their cheer, the team's going to be coming onto the field to do another kickoff. It's typically during that time that you can do your monetization for your touchdown sponsor. Here's an example. That Patriots touchdown brought to you by The Family Restaurant. Serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Visit The Family Restaurant located on Main Street. Your official Patriot touchdown sponsor. Now let's do a field goal announcement. And if you choose to, this is another way to monetize your program by having a field goal sponsor. But here's a general example. Field goal attempt by number 11, John Doe is successful. With 108 remaining in the contest, the score is your West High School Patriots 35 and the East High School Tigers 0. During the game, you're going to have several announcements. One that's very important is your concession stand because concessions bring revenue into your athletic programs. Here's a couple of examples. 
Football fans, be sure to check out the concession stand. Located by the stadium entrance, there you can purchase a variety of refreshing drinks and delicious snacks. So be sure to visit the concession stand now. Here's a second concession stand example. Just a reminder, football fans, to visit the concession stand. You can purchase from a wide selection of items on the menu, including fountain drinks, hot dogs, chips, and candy. The concession stand is located behind the stadium bleachers and is now open to serve you. Remember, in your manuscript, I've provided templates in the back so you can tailor your announcement to your specific school and specific needs. Let's get back to the game. There's going to be pivotal moments in the game that are important to victory or defeat for your team. Usually those moments are when the other team has the ball and you're playing defense. So the opposing team is on offense. Now here are a few ways that you can engage your crowd to make some noise and to be loud and support your team. It's third and short, Patriot fans. Now's the time to get loud. It's third down, Patriot fans. Now's the time to clap your hands and stop your feet. It's fourth down, Patriot fans. Let me hear you make some noise. It's fourth and goal, Patriot fans. Make some noise for the boys in blue and white. Now remember, when you're reporting factual information, you want to remain neutral but you are the announcer for the home team. So you want to support them and engage your crowd for your team. Student safety is an important issue, and that includes during athletic events. Only those that have permission to be near student athletes, coaches, and officials needs to be acknowledged by the crowd. Here's an example. Football fans, we ask that you please respect the stadium boundaries. Only those who have been permitted by administration or football staff are allowed on the field area. This is for the safety of student athletes, personnel, and you, the fan. Thank you for abiding by this request. Now let's talk about musical requests. You will have fans that come up to the press box that want you to play certain music. Now, your job is to play music at times but you want to focus on the game and not be distracted. I've included a guideline for that individual who's making the request to complete, and you can say, we'll look into this for the next game. Please complete this, and we'll look over it for you to see if we can do that. Remember to check with your athletic director to see if you are responsible for the music for the game or if music needs to be purchased for you to play. Now let's talk about vehicle information. There will be times where a Good Samaritan will let you know that a person has left their headlights on on their car. There will be other times where a person needs to leave either for work or for an emergency and someone's parked illegally and has them blocked in. Use the vehicle information template that I've provided in your script to make these announcements. Here are a few examples. May I have your attention please, if you are driving a silver Toyota Camry with license plate number ABC123, you have left your headlights on. Once again, that is a silver Toyota Camry with license plate number ABC123. Your headlights are on. Here's a second example, and if the vehicle is blocked in. May I have your attention please, if you are driving a black Nissan pickup truck with license plate number DEF 456, you have another automobile blocked in and need to move your vehicle at this time. Once again, if you are the owner of a black Nissan pickup truck with license plate number DEF 456, you have another automobile blocked in and need to move your vehicle at this time. This vehicle is parked adjacent to the high school greenhouse. Now this is an off the wall announcement, so people may not be paying attention to what you're saying at that time. So you may want to do the vehicle information announcement twice. During the athletic contest, other organizations, clubs, or teams in the school will be trying to raise financial support for their needs. I've included in your script a fundraiser announcement request that the person will fill out and provide you with the information that you need. Here are a couple of examples.
of the announcement. Football fans, the West High School Art Club is offering face paint for the cost of $2 beside the concession stand. Proceeds benefit the Art Club's annual trip to the National Art Conference in Orlando, Florida. Here's a second example. The West High School girls soccer team is selling raffle tickets next to the stadium entrance for a chance to win two country music concert tickets. This fundraiser will allow the team to purchase new uniforms and equipment. Next up is your drug, alcohol, and tobacco policy announcement. This will vary school to school, but here's a general announcement for you. All West High School facilities are drug, tobacco, and alcohol free. This prohibits the use of any type of illegal substance, alcoholic beverage, or tobacco product, including smokeless and e-vapor, by anyone on school property. This involves any school function, including athletic events. Any violation of this policy is prohibited. This policy is enforced 24 hours per day, seven days of the week, every day of the year. West High School is dedicated to having a safe and healthy environment for all to enjoy. Now here are several weather statements. Football is a game that is played outside, so you will experience various types of inclement weather. Here are three examples for you. First, heat stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the current heat index, officials have declared a temporary stoppage of play. This allows players to hydrate and cool down. Student athlete safety is always a top priority. The heat index will be monitored and officials will signal when play resumes. Thank you. Here is the advisory statement. Ladies and gentlemen, with this evening's weather conditions, we would like to remind you to identify the nearest place of shelter in the event of additional severe weather. Radar indicates the possibility of severe weather in our area. Safety is our top priority and any additional information will be announced over the sound system. Thank you. Now for the most severe weather, the crowd will have to leave the seating area. Here is the seek shelter announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? At this time, we ask that you leave the seating area and seek covered shelter. Severe weather conditions have intensified and gameplay has been delayed. As soon as additional information is available, an announcement will be made regarding the weather conditions and the athletic contest. The decision made will ensure safety of participants and the public as a first priority. Once again, please leave the seating area and seek covered shelter at this time. Thank you. Now let's talk about post-game. Your game has ended, but your job is not done. You have to wrap up this game and start preparing for the next one. Here are a couple of announcements. Your final score, the East High School Tigers 21 and your West High School Patriots 35. Football fans, a round of applause for all the student athletes from both East High School and West High School. Thank you for your attendance at tonight's game. The Patriots will be back in action next Friday night, October 3rd, here at Patriot Stadium in Elliott Field. Your Patriots will be playing against the North High School Cardinals. Kickoff is scheduled for 7 p.m. Please drive safely on your way home. Good night, God bless, and go Patriots! Here's a second announcement for your post game. Your final score, the East High School Tigers 21 and your West High School Patriots 35. Football fans, a round of applause for all the student athletes from both East High School and West High School. Thank you for your attendance at tonight's game. The Patriots will be back in action next Friday night, October 3rd, on the road at North High School. Your Patriots will be playing against the Cardinals with a kickoff time scheduled for 7 p.m. Please drive safely on your way home. If not, God bless and go Patriots. That concludes the football announcer training for publicaddressannouncing.com. If you need any other manuscripts or videos, please visit publicaddressannouncing.com. I offer training videos and scripts for other various sports, and if you would like to request a sport, just please contact me at publicaddressannouncing.com. I'm Dr. J.T. Elliott. Good night, God bless, and we'll see you at the next game.